Good morning, Slayers. Um, first off, excuse the weird, like, cockamamie angle. But this is, like, my second attempt at making this video. It was originally supposed to be a cash stuffing, like the usual. But I recorded the whole thing, watched it back, and it was at the worst angle possible. Like, at some point, my camera, like, shifted, and it was basically, like, y'all were just looking at the floor. So I deleted that because there was no saving it. So I also do not feel like taking all of the cash back out of the envelopes and restuffing them since I've already stuffed them. So we're just not going to do that. And we're just going to update my tracker together. And I'm going to tell you guys what I put in every envelope and what the balance is now of every envelope. And hopefully y'all just rock with me on that because it has been a morning, guys. <laughs> all right. So let me just write in the date. Okay, so this paycheck is the first paycheck of June. So June 11, 2021. Um, and for gas, I stuffed $30. And we did still have money left, but I put all the money that we stuffed from our last cash stuffing onto my gas card. So I believe we have $25 left on the gas card. So that brings us to $55 we now have in gas. Um, groceries, all that got spent. So we didn't have anything left. Well, that's a lie. We had $1 left over, but I put the $1 into my little savings jar. Y'all know how I do. Um, so we put $40 in groceries. And I did stuff less because... Since I just went grocery shopping, like the refrigerator's full, cabinets are good. I don't need anything else. Everything that's in the cabinets, I can eat, being keto and everything. So I only stuffed $40 because I am having a potluck at work because we have a whole bunch of people retiring. My supervisor got a better position, so he's leaving. So we're giving them a farewell potluck. So I have to pay for cupcakes that I ordered from Sam's as well as uh, buy cheese because I'm making macaroni and cheese. But then going into self-care, that got 25 because it was empty, as usual. Um, and households got 15 So that is where they stand for my everyday category. All right, now we're going to do beauty first since it's over here, even though it's a part of the pink category, which is prep and landing. I was supposed to be saving for to get my hair braided, y'all, with beauty. We had $80 in beauty as per our last cash stuffing, but to get our hair braided. But then I was um, <laughs> on Amazon and I saw that they had some really cheap headband wigs. So I bought them and I spent $50 on headband wigs, which left us with $30. So in addition to that $30, um, I added... 15 which now brings us to $45 in beauty I really am going to get my hair braided eventually guys like I, I promise um savings I add 10% of my paycheck automatically so that I actually have to check on that to see how much is in my savings um Disney we got guys like I'm so happy to report that we finished paying off that darn Disney cruise that we were supposed to be taking in May of 2022. Yay, confetti, fireworks, yay, excitement, so much. Um, that is finally over, but I have decided that I'm going to continue to save and set money aside for that. Like I still have that $350 payment every month. So I put away actually... $162 so that is now in Disney and that's just for like extracurricular things like if we want to do any excursions when we get to port buying souvenirs all that stuff so this side is done and now moving on to our prep and landing long term and build categories where things get a little complicated all right, so let me erase what we have so far for, oh, 
darn it. Popped right on off and straight onto the board. Uh, am I gonna have to rewrite beauty? Probably. All right, let me fix that. Okay. Even plays mess up sometimes. There we go, all fixed. <laughs> let me not pump it so hard next time so I don't send it flying all over the place. All right, pump. I'm take it nice and slow. Okay. So we're going to erase this. But honestly, I feel like I should just erase it all now. Because I do know what goes into each of them. So let this dry so it doesn't mess up the marker. Now it has been a week. Like it has truly, truly been a week. Okay, so miscellaneous had $75 in it when we did our last cash stuffing. But that $75, guys, is gone. Try as I might to build up my miscellaneous and car maintenance and emergency fund envelopes. They just can never seem to stay put. So I've decided to take miscellaneous like out of my cash wallet. Like you guys know how I usually kept it in there just in case I needed extra money to cover something that I was buying. I decided to take it out because I really just need to like leave the money in there, let it build because my car registration is now due. And if you guys don't know, if you are new to my channel, first off, welcome, thank you. We appreciate your presence. But originally we are from New Jersey and we are a military family. So we are currently stationed in Fort Carson, which is in Colorado. And my car is registered to New Jersey. When you're a military family, we don't have to change our registration. We don't have to change over our license like civilians are supposed to when you move from state to state we are not required to so we don't but now it's like biting me in the butt because <laughs> my car's registration is due for new jersey which is fine because i can just do that in the mail however my inspection sticker is also done in new jersey which would mean and it expires in july of 2021 so that would mean that I would have to physically drive my car 27 hours from Colorado to New Jersey just to get a new inspection sticker so that my car could be legal. That's not going to happen. I don't have that kind of time. I don't have that kind of gas. I just, it's not going to happen. So I am now having to register my car for Colorado and just, and get Colorado tags however much they cost like oh my goodness so now that I think about it like I'm getting real serious about building up my miscellaneous category because if I really would have been on my P's and Q's I could have already had tag money registration money already saved and set aside for this very sad occasion so I don't feel like I'm getting gut punched having to shell out money no, oh, it's my neighbor's car alarm. Hopefully they get that soon. All right, so now miscellaneous, we're starting from scratch, has $15 in it. Um, Tom, Tom and Theo, their little savings. I got the idea for um, to just deposit their money into their savings account so that it can start to collect the dividends. So I took the $145 that was in both of their accounts and put it in the bank. So right now their envelopes are empty. They were getting too bulky, like they were getting a little thick. So I just took that money out. It is now sitting in the bank. 
So we added their usual 10. So in total, in the bank, they have 145. So in total, they have $155. And then for a back to school in the bank, it already had, they already had $340 and 10 cents. So, um, but I have in cash for back to school, we put in their usual 40, but hold on. Cause something, something right. Something right. Have you seen that, um, some more, comedy special where she says that thing is hilarious you should check it out some name right some name right all right back to school let's count this out so 100 2 4 6 8 200 2 4 6 8 all right so $280 we have in cash and back to school. One more cash stuffing and this will be ready to be deposited. So with the 340 that we have in the bank plus the 280, that brings us to 585. I have to check my bank again because I kind of feel like it should be a little more than that. I'll have to double check, but I think that I'm right. And it's 585 total, I think. I'll write it on the bottom of the screen, whether it's right or not. Okay, so retirement. We actually have more than $325 in the bank for retirement because we hit 300 in our last stuffing. So I deposited that money. So we currently have... $665 in the bank for retirement. And then we just added another 50, which brings us to $705. And we are almost at our $1,000 goal, guys, before we can turn this savings account into a CD to just sit. And I'm kind of like disappointed because I had gave myself a timeline of until June to actually have my thousand dollar goal met. But I've just like, I need to like give myself grace. I know that. But I made like so many bad money decisions that like I could have been made my goal and then some guys. I could have been done that. But trying to like correct mistakes that I made before, money had to go elsewhere and whatnot. So. It is what it is. I'm still learning. I'm not an expert budgeter yet. Life happens. I know that. But still, we're on our way. So $750 now in retirement. New house and new car. Each got $25 today. Which brings new car. Oh, new house has $585. And new car has $573. And honestly, if I was making smarter decisions, a new car would have way more money in it because my emergency fund and car maintenance envelopes are completely empty because my car, being you know the old hoopty that it is, needed more work yet again. Um, I got off work. So emergency fund has nothing in bank and barely had anything in the envelope. Boy, it was empty because we have to start over. So I put 25 in there. Car maintenance also got empty. So that's getting 20. That got 25. So that those are our starting points for car maintenance and car emergency fund, which honestly, all the money that I have been stuffing in those envelopes, I should have just been putting it into new car because I just need to get a new car. I got out of work the other day car wouldn't start like no lights no nothing like no turn the key and it just makes the revving noise and then nothing like it just it made no sounds like nothing happened put the key in no chimes nothing 
silence. So had to call my husband. He gave me a jump. So I was like, cool, I'm gonna buy a new battery. Went to Walmart's website, bought a new battery, put it on one of my credit cards. So then I took the car maintenance money and I took the um, emergency fund money that I had, which was like $115 was in car maintenance and $75 was in emergency fund. Took that money to buy a nice good battery from Walmart. It had like a three year warranty on it, like it was good. And came with free installation, which was the best part. Free is for me. So go to San go to Walmart, waiting for them to put the battery in. The technician comes to me, he's like, uh, ma'am, your car only has a side post hookup and the battery you bought is a top post hookup and we don't sell side post hookup batteries at all. So you're gonna to have to return the battery and I suggest you go to like Advance Auto Parts or somewhere else to go buy the battery. So I go to the thing, to the customer service desk to return the battery and at, our, at that point, she was like, oh, do you want me to put the money back on your free fund, back on your credit card? And at that point I had taken the emergency fund money and car maintenance money, put those, deposited those into my bank account and paid off the credit card with the balance that I had just paid for the battery. So I was like, no, I don't want you to put it back on the credit card because then it would have just gave me a credit on my credit card where that money could have gone back into the envelopes or gone to something else for me to actually get the battery at the other stores that the man was telling me to go to. So she's like, oh, well, all we can do for you is put it on a gift card if you don't want it to go onto your credit card. Like I honestly in that moment didn't know how it would work if I would have put that money back onto an already paid off credit card. Like would the credit card have even accepted it? Would they would have sent me, had to wait until they sent me like a check in the mail for the overage? I just wasn't thinking of how it would work. So I was like, okay, put it on the gift card. She puts it on the gift card. I go to Walmart's website and I'm just like, okay, until I settle on a battery, cause I don't, like the one thing that I don't ever want is for my car to break down on me when I am not home or close to my house. That is the worst thing. I've been through that too much as a child with my mom's car just breaking down in the middle of the street. That gives me anxiety. I don't want those problems. I was like, let me buy a jump box. So I spent the money on the gift card on Walmart's website buying a really nice and expensive jump box for my car. That way, if my car did die, I'd be able to give myself a jump and didn't have to worry about like calling anybody to come give me a jump. None of that. So... I get the jump box, I've ordered the jump box from Walmart, and then I get like some household stuff with whatever little change was left on the gift card, like toilet paper and whatnot. So as I'm waiting to get for the jump box to come in the mail, guess whose battery dies yet again? Thankfully, it once again happened while I was at work trying to leave. So I'm just like, screw it. I'm just gonna have to put it on my credit card again to get a new battery. Go to Advanced Auto Parts, got a battery, brand new one. And then lo and behold, the same day that I get the brand new battery, the jump box finally comes in the mail when I get back home. So <laughs> we're, I said all of that to say, we are now trying to rebuild our emergency and car maintenance fund, which honestly, I think I'm just going to start canceling both of those and just making it all new car. I just need to get a new car because every time I turn around, the car that I currently have always needs something. It's like a needy child that I don't have time for. Okay, so now for travel, that got $30, which brought it to a grand total of $121. And I did all the math like off camera because I didn't have time for y'all to watch me struggle with math. And then for business, it has $22. We deposited $7 into our envelope today, um, which actually that may go towards um, a new little business venture and not to my soap business, which it was originally for because since the boys like come down and watch me make soap and like I let them do it sometimes so that they can have soap for upstairs in the bathroom when they take a shower, they've decided that they wanna make their own soap and have their own little soap business. 
So I am all for young entrepreneurship. Like that is not a problem. That actually seems like a very great idea. So that is what they want to do. So that 22 hours may go towards like starting up their little business. So be on the lookout for me plugging in and advertising for my son's little soap business that they want to do and that they're so excited about. Theo wants to make his little dinosaur soaps and Tom Tom wants to make sports soaps and car soaps. Like it's going to be their little business and they're just going to let their mom help them sometimes and pay for stuff. <laughs> um, but birthdays, birthdays, Black Friday and Christmas each got $10. Um, so that brought birthdays to 100. And I don't know what I did wrong. But when I went to the bank, I had set out like I needed 10 tens. But the teller that I got, she didn't have that many tens left in her drawer. So she substituted with fives for what I was missing. But Black Friday and Christmas both have $80 and $79 respectively in their envelopes. Now, since I added $10, that should have went to $90 and $89. Somehow, some way, I had to like go into my env other envelopes to make change in order to get two tens out to put into Black Friday and Christmas because all I had was a 20 and two fives left after I stuffed everything else. And somehow, some way, it still ended up working out to where Black Friday and Christmas still only have $80 and $79 in them. How that happened, I do not know, because it definitely should have gone up if I had the right amount of money in them. But that's what they have currently. Okay. And then Exodus, which is like a new little category I added because... I, we don't plan on staying in Colorado much longer, so just trying to put together moving money for that stuff. It had more money in it, but I had to take that money out to, again, go towards something else. So that left it with only 30 cents in it, <laughs> which honestly is it, not worth recording. So we can just erase that. But yeah, so that is my updated tracker for how much... I was able to stuff and save into all of my cash envelopes and sinking funds with my first paycheck of June. Uh, thank everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video. Like it was just, I wanted to put something out since that other video that I had recorded was trash. Like it, it was just trash. I wasn't even going to put y'all through like having to tilt y'all head to the side and squint to see what was going on. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. And like I always say, all 2021 and beyond, we are solving our own problems, slaying our own dragons, and making things happen for ourselves. And I know I said it wrong, but y'all got it. <laughs> Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.